everybody and welcome to another Interstellar Modeler. In this video what I'm going to do is detail an upcoming project I'm going to be working on. This is the Hasbro Millennium Falcon. So this particular version of the Millennium Falcon is actually a toy that was special released by Walmart during the holiday season of 2014. Now in concept it sounds cool to have a two foot long toy of the Millennium Falcon. However, if you can't open it up and put action figures in it, your play potential is somewhat limited. Didn't take long for modelers, however, to realize that you could take this toy and make it more accurate by painting it and adding more detail. And uh, sure enough, within a short amount of time, um, there were all kinds of posts online about this particular toy. And uh, that's what caught my interest in it to begin with. So at first the toy was selling for about a hundred bucks and I wasn't really um, that interested in paying that amount of money. But soon after the holiday season, however, the price quickly dropped. And when it reached $30, I figured I would get a, grab a hold of one and see what I could do with it. So let me go ahead and pull it out and I'll show you what comes with the toy. So as I make several passes here over the toy, you can see that the surface is fairly well detailed. Now I'm not sure how accurate it is. I don't um, claim to be an expert on a Millennium Falcon, but uh, as I look at it, it actually looks pretty good here. And turning the model over, uh, you can see the bottom side is detailed as well. And as you look at this side here, the one thing that stands out are landing gear. That's what these blocky things are supposed to represent. Um, so you can see there are definitely some deficiencies here. So when you pull the toy out of the box, you, there are two other pieces that come with the toy uh, that you add on. And uh, that's the antenna and the laser turret that goes obviously on the opposite side here. And the other thing you're supposed to do with the toy is to add these stickers. And these stickers are meant to go onto these panels here that lack detailing. And um, so you can see that they're printed here uh, with some shadow effects to give it a 3D sort of uh, appearance. Then you have these uh, red panels and also these uh, grills that are supposed to go on the upper part and the, along the engine assemblies. And uh, then of course you have the uh, uh, main exhaust port here. And that's what's represented by this blue section. There's a second sticker sheet that again comes with more colored panels um, as well as these grills again here. And that's pretty much it. You uh, take the toy out, put on the loose pieces, apply the stickers, and you're good to go. So obviously we're going to do more than that. So let me go ahead and put these away here. Now I've already started this project here. I've uh, taken the time to take the screws out here that hold the model together. You can see there are a series of screws all along the, uh, uh, the toy. And um, you also have to remove the side hatches as well as the cone that represents the cockpit. And uh, that's what these are here. These are the pieces I've already taken off. This is of course the side hatch, which you can see looks pretty, pretty detailed. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but uh, you know, it's not bad. And there are some other pieces that I've taken off as well. This goes along the side here. And uh, then of course, there's a panel that uh, comes from the opposite side as well. Okay, and these are now the two halves that are separated here. And so let me just kind of take a few minutes to show you what I plan to do here. So what I plan to do is actually build this in the flying configuration. And uh, so that being said, then that means I'm not really gonna mess with the with um, putting in new um, landing gear. I am gonna remove these, however. And uh, so that leads me into telling you about a gentleman by the name of Randy Cooper. So he's a gentleman that you can find on Facebook and he's produced a beautiful detailing kit that you can purchase from him that includes all sorts of parts that uh, really can make the ship very accurate. So as with anything, you know, it really just amounts to what you want to spend. Uh, so for me, however, um, what I'm going to try and do is limit my expenses here. And uh, as I said, the first thing I'm going to do is build it in the flying configuration and that'll keep me from having to really do much with the landing gear except to cut them out and, um, and cover these areas. Now I actually am buying a few things from Mr. Cooper, one of which I've already gotten is this photo etch set here. And he produces this set. Um, it was made for him exclusively by Photographics. And uh, it includes, of course, these grill covers, which um, obviously go in this section here. And uh, the grill that goes along the main exhaust here. The other thing I'm getting from him are the doors that will cover the landing bays. And um, that was fairly inexpensive. He's actually been kind enough to sell those to me for about 10 bucks. And then the photo etch set runs 50. And the cost of the other kit um, 
is definitely over $125, I believe. Uh, so you can imagine adding that plus the photo etch kit and then also the landing gear, which is separate as well. You can see your cost can run up there. Uh, again, that's not to deter you from doing that. If you certainly have the resources, you know, by all means, you know, go for it. Uh, but again, since I'm on a limited budget, I'm just going to plan to utilize uh, those pieces from here. And in terms of lighting, I actually do plan to uh, light the engine piece. Um, so I'm trying to figure out ways uh, to do that, and I have a couple ideas, and I'll detail those um, uh, on the videos that I plan to make as I'm building this project. And um, I may add the forward lights uh, here on the mandibles as well. So for detailing the mandibles, I actually plan to scratch build all that. I was able to find some uh, miscellaneous parts that I think will work real well. It's not going to be 100% accurate, obviously, uh, but that's okay for me. Um, this middle section, I'm going to fill in with some styrene and detail that as well. And, um, and that's pretty much it. And then, of course, the rest is going to be painting and detailing on the outside with some pastels and other things I plan to use. Uh, and that's, of course, one of my favorite things to do. Now, I should mention one other source that you can obtain parts from is a website called Shapeways. If you're not familiar with it, it's a site that sells 3D printed items. And they actually sell all kinds of pieces that you can uh, buy to um, uh, detail this kit with, very similar to what you can find with Mr. Cooper, but uh, those pieces are even more expensive because 3D printing, of course, is not a cheap process at this point. However, I do plan on getting one piece from them, and that is the cone to replace the one that came with the ship. And I'll show you what that looks like. And you can see it's a little short and, uh, you know, not, not uh, as accurate as it could be. Um, so for 30 bucks, I'm actually getting one that is 3D printed. Um, it's going to have the windows that are cut out here. Um, but I don't plan to build an interior cockpit. What I plan to do is just to tint, have some tinted styrene that will go along the inside that will make it look more like windows. Now they also sell um, items that you can, uh, or pieces that you can use to build out an entire cockpit. Um, and they actually are geared for lighting and the whole bit. Uh, but again, my budget's fairly limited here, so I'm not going to do that. So in summary, I plan to add some uh, surface detailing. Uh, plan to make this into the flying configuration. I will paint it and detail it and do a little bit of lighting. So this should be a pretty fun and interesting project to put together. I will tell you, however, that I'm not going to get to this right away. I have another project that I am currently working on, uh, but this one will come right after that. So that wraps it up for now. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email me at interstellarmodeler at gmail.com, or you can certainly post a message here on my YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.